Hi, my name is Gilbert Jin and I'm a Technical Service Engineer at SMA Australia. Today, I will be giving you a quick overview of our SMA Cluster Controller. Here is the SMA Cluster Controller, and this is the ideal system solution for decentralized large-scale PV plants when combined with SMA inverters. The Cluster Controller offers reliable monitoring and control of up to 75 inverters via the Ethernet-based Speedwire field bus. This allows for optimum data transfer rates for plant monitoring and fast processing for measured values, status information, and system control commands. Just like the Webbox, the Cluster Controller comes with an integrated web server, and you can also register for Sunny Portal for remote monitoring. As you can see here, the Cluster Controller comes with multiple ports for sensors and grid management specifications for active and reactive power set points. Here we have X1 for the 24 volt power supply, USB 1 for data storage, USB 2 for updates. X2 allows for three digital outputs for status indications on failures, warnings and active power limitations. X3 is reserved for future applications. X4 allows for four digital inputs for active power limitations. X5 allows for four digital inputs for reactive power limitations. X6 allows for two analog outputs for the feedback of current active and reactive power limitations. X7 allows for two PT ports for analog signals from ambient and module temperature sensors. X8 allows for four analog inputs, three current inputs for the radiation sensor, active and reactive power limitations, and one voltage input for connection of a sensor. X9 and 10 is for the speed wire network of the inverters. X11 and 12 is reserved for future applications. X13 and 14 are for the local area network connections. Now we'll have a quick look at the web interface of the cluster controller. You will be able to find the IP address of the cluster controller on the display under the LAN communication section. From here, you, the default password for the user is 0000, and for the installer, it's 1111. Once logged in, there are six tabs for you to select. On the left, you can see a list of all connected devices. The settings tab gives you a quick access to the plant details, to the general settings, to the login passwords, to speed wire settings, to external LAN and communication settings, data exporting, the sunny portal settings, extra alarms and FTP push. Sensor settings. And cluster controller details. The spot value tabs gives you spot values of the plant status, the analog and digital input readings, the speed wire status, remaining space on the USB drive, and the sensor readings. The overview tab gives you a quick look at the status of the plant. The grid management tab gives you access to configure the active and reactive power limitations for grid management via digital input signals, analog input signals, or even Modbus. The events tab gives you a quick overview of all events and faults that have occurred. The update and save tab allows you to update the firmware version of the cluster controller and the connected inverters. This section also allows you to update some Modbus profiles and configurations. The display on the cluster controller also gives a quick and easy look at the plant overview, yield data, plant status, cluster controller details, Sunny portal settings, analog input status, digital input status, meteorology, active power limitation status, reactive power control, grid management, external LAN communication, internal speed wire communication, and our Modbus settings. This now concludes our quick overview of the SMA cluster controller. My name is Gilbert Jin. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.